Ellis Saron, and welcome to Slay Ornate. This week, my co-host is the one and only Danielle Campbell. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm great. No, we're so excited to have you here. Thank you. Um, just so you guys know, Slay Ornate, Slay Ornate is our weekly live, if you can't tell, Facebook show in which we have a rundown of five topics, usually five or so, and we will be letting you guys know if we think it's a slay or a nay. Please chime in on the comments. Um, also, give some questions for Danielle. Um, we would love to hear what you guys want to know about her. So, you're here for Fashion Week right now. Yes. How's that going? I'm having the best time right now, actually. It's amazing seeing the city kind of, um, it's always been a go, go, go city, but right now it's especially crazy. I think it's, there's just so much going on. Mm -hmm. And this is your first fashion week, right? It is, yeah. What What made you decide, okay, this is the week, this is the year, this is when I'm gonna do it? 27, lots of changes I think, I think have happened this year, and I think I'm just, I'm excited to kind of, uh, to do things that I'm really passionate about, and fashion's one of them, so it's been amazing, and I've met some great people so far, so it's been a blast. Yeah, what are some of the shows you're going to? Uh, I'm going to Marc Jacobs on Thursday, I'm going to Sherry Hill, I'm going to um, a couple others, it's, it's, they're, honestly, they're, my schedule in my head is kind of jumbled, it's been a whirlwind. <laughs> yeah, this is Mark Jacobs, right? This is Mark Jacobs. I love it it's so much. Amazing. Is this Thank your you. usual style? What's your usual style? I mean, I think I'm definitely dressed for Fashion Week at the moment in terms of like I I don't I wouldn't normally dress up this much unless it was going to something. But um, yeah, it's definitely edgy and fun, and that's definitely I think my style for sure. Is there one fashion style that you have tried and you're just like, nope, this wasn't for me. This was a total mistake. Oh boy, um, <laughs> there's probably quite a few to be honest. <laughs> um, none that I can think of off the top of my head, but yeah, I, I definitely I like to try it all because honestly, I think fashion is something you're supposed to play with, you're supposed to enjoy, but at the same time, it's like you don't have to follow every trend. Mm -hmm. You just need to do whatever makes you feel most comfortable. And so, if I'm not confident in something, take it off and put something else on. That's the whole fun of it. That's why we like big closets. <laughs> so. Um, we are going to be playing a very special Valentine's edition of Slay Orne, given that Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Ooh. So, first of all, we gotta go with the big one. Slay Orne. Okay. Chocolates. Slay. Absolutely. And I love chocolate. You see, this is my thing, and you guys are gonna get angry at me for this one. I say nay. Really? Because I like sour candy so much. Oh, so, okay. yeah, it's it's one of those things that like if you just get me chocolates I'm going to be like you don't know me. You don't actually <laughs> love me. See, I like them both though. That's my, that's my thing. I like I have like an overall sweet tooth. And then the sour honestly kind of adds to it, but mm -hmm. if I were to choose one or the other it'd be chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah. Yeah. Is there like a special flavor combination like chocolate and orange or chocolate and mint or just Chocolate and everything, really. Dark <laughs> chocolate, for sure, is my favorite, which some people will say milk, but I'm, I'm a big dark chocolate fan. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, and then Slayer and Aid, round two, rom-coms. Yeah, absolutely. I love rom coms. They're so much fun. I like I like action and, and horror and mm -hmm. all that too, but honestly, sometimes you're just in the mood for some good couples that actually get together or maybe it doesn't work out and then it's still okay and it's funny. Everyone likes comedy. What's your favorite <laughs> rom com? My favorite rom com. Oh, I love Crazy Stupid Love. I watched that recently and that's just it's just an all around perfect movie. I just love that film so much. Yeah, it's there's so much, like, there's so many different storylines in it that there's... Oh, I remember the first time I watched it, and it was, like, the scene where um, they're both sitting at the table, and um, everyone's couples, and it's Valentine's Day, and they're all sitting out for a date night, and then all of a sudden she's saying she wants a divorce, and I was, like, was not expecting that to happen, but, um, so, like, the whole film kind of just, like, was, I was not ready for anything that happened, and it was perfect. Yeah, I love absolutely. it. I mean, I get a little bad rap around here as the the jaded individual in your writing teen <laughs> vogue. I do think that rom coms are slay, however, because I have to shout it out to my girl Jennifer Lopez. Oh. Queen of the rom com. Just She kills it actually. Yeah, Made in Manhattan and the wedding planner. There's All of just, them. I, I can't I can't <laughs> choose. She's just so perfect. If she wants to make another one, I will literally be the first person to buy a ticket. Oh absolutely. Um, so but you did mention that another one that I have actually have two Slayer Night questions for you on okay. this. Breaking up on Valentine's Day. Oh, that's not fun. I know. I, I, I mean, 
you don't really want to wait till Valentine's Day is over to break up with someone either. So I think if someone's going to break up, I think do it before Valentine's Day. Yeah. Even though, I mean, then you can at least have like a night with your girls or with the boys and just at least have like a night out. But um, but yeah, it kind of sucks to put some effort into Valentine's Day and then not be with someone. Yeah, it's one of those things like I give it a nay or two because I, I mean, I do. But at the same time, I also get that like if it's, if it's really not working, you can't delay it. I mean, it's better it. to say it. Yeah, absolutely. It's better yeah. to say it rather than to not say it. But if you're watching this, you still have a day or two, so get it you done. You literally have, like, 12 hours. Yeah. So tell them that we sent you to just be honest. But oh, it's such a sad topic. Though. It is. Oh, so God. better topic. First yeah. dates on Valentine's Day. Oh, that'd be fun. That's a fun one. Really? I, think, I mean, I think just, I, I don't know. I mean, I think, yeah, I think it'd be fun. I mean, you don't, I don't think it's, like, the type of date that you go out and you're, you go overboard like you would with someone that you were with, but, um, yeah, I don't think stop yourself just because it's Valentine's Day. I mean, I go out with my girlfriends, too, on Valentine's Day just because it's, it's a day to celebrate people you care about, mm -hmm. so it can be very couple or it doesn't have to be. Yeah, I do think, I think a first date on Valentine's Day is a nay just because I'm one of those people who will take an inch and run a mile and be like, oh, so we're dating now. <laughs> Don't, don't take dating advice from me, guys. That's <laughs> rule number one. But um, Galentine's Day and going out with your girlfriends or yes. your guy friends or whichever BFF you have in this world, slay or nay? Uh, slay all, all <laughs> the way. All, slay, slay. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. What's your favorite? Do you have a Valentine's Day tradition with your friends? Not a tradition, no. It kind of changes every year. It's kind of, um, it's like either a girl, it's like a movie night or... Uh, go out for a nice big dinner or cook dinner and just have it at the house. It's kind of just anything, just spending the day with people that you enjoy the company of. Yeah, absolutely. It's a sleigh. I mean, yes. any you don't you also don't need a holiday to celebrate your friends. You should just have Valentine's Day every day. Yes. Though that might get a little all expensive. day long. <laughs> um, and so my last slay or nay question for Valentine's Day okay. is Instagram shoutouts and when people dedicate everything to all these people on social media i'm i'm not a bit i'm gonna say uh, which nay i'm gonna say nay mostly mm -hmm. because you know like i get it if that's your thing too but for me personally i think um i am a much more private person with my relationships so i think um i i the person I, i'm probably with them on valentine's day so the last thing i'm needing to do is need to tell the world that i'm out with them you know yeah so absolutely. um but you know, everyone's different, so I guess it's fine. But for me personally, it's an A. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna give it a snay. This is <laughs> no, this is always the one that people get angry at me about because they're like, "That's not an answer." I'm like, "Yes, it is. It's both." Because if you want to, you know, shout it out at the, you know, from the top of the digital mountaintops that you're in love with this person, why not? And you yeah, should. I get it. But if you don't feel like you shouldn't feel obligated to, if you if you're private and it's yeah, so I guess my answer was like that as well. <laughs> No, I think wow. we have the same answer. Yeah, it's tricky. <laughs> you we'll just did there. it with the board. Yes. Things. Yeah, we gotta. Mine are getting stuck. <laughs> but yeah, so this is you know this is all really great. And of course, after Valentine's Day comes the rest of the year. Is there anything else that you're looking forward to as the year goes on that you're really excited about? Uh, uh yeah, everything really. Mm -hmm. I love I. It's a new year. It's there's a lot going on, so um, I'm definitely really busy. So it's been it's been it's been really nice. Oh, that's so great yeah. to hear. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much for having yeah, me. Yeah, of course. Um, and thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I am digital entertainment editor Ella Cerrone. This has been Danielle Campbell. And if you guys are super nice, maybe she'll come back to guest us again. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys.